Hi guys, with this video, I'm kickstarting a new playlist uh, around Moodle. Now, Moodle is an open source uh, learning management system which allows you to manage your uh, educational content. Uh, you can also use it to manage your documentation. And this playlist consists of um, you know, a series of, um, or a bunch of independent videos. N none of the videos is dependent on the other and each video would then tackle a certain theme. Now, the first video here in this, in this playlist is basically installing Moodle. And um, if you're interested in managing your content, be it documentation or education, I think Moodle would be a great package. It's open source, it doesn't cost you anything and can be easily installed. Now, the installation we're doing here is on localhost. I'm using Zap as a sort of a local server and I'm creating a database in MySQL on Zap. You can also at, uh, uh, you know, attach Moodle to a Postgres database or to an SQL server. And uh, the procedure is basically very much the same. And what you need to do first of all is download Moodle and that's why we go here to Moodle.org and go to Downloads and the latest version is the 383 and then you just pick your uh, operating system and mine is windows so i just download the zip file and i'm ready to go and then once i downloaded the zip file i just extract it and then we come to the next step the next step is basically we have to create the database before starting to install moodle and the database now in xamp I just go, uh, I just open up the control panel and go to admin. And once going to admin, I will come to the uh, PHP my admin dashboard, which uh, looks like this. And now what I gotta do is create a new database. Now I could easily uh, create a database here through the, you know, with, the, with that uh, menu, but I'm, I'll do it through SQL. And I'll post the SQL code uh, in the description below. And the SQL code looks like this. And what I'm doing here, I'm creating a, let me just zoom that a bit. I'm creating a database called Self Learner, and it has got these defaults and this file format. This is mandatory by, by, by Moodle. So uh, you, you just can copy that, copy paste it, and just change the database name. Right, let me just zoom back in. Right, and then once I go and go, and I would have created my uh, database, which is here, self learner. Right, so that's one step. Now, another thing what you gotta do, when you're using XAMPP, you basically have two directories. One, or no, multiple directories, sorry. One is the, is the, is the public directory. In XAMPP, you, you, you set a, a directory which is serves as your public directory. This is basically where you place your web applications and your web pages to access them via the browser. But a Moodle demands another directory where it places its data. So what we have to do, or you have to do, you have to create two directories. One is um, a, a data directory somewhere outside the public directory of, uh, of, of, of XAMPP. And then we place that zip file that we extracted we place that in the public uh, folder. And I'll show you here. This is now my the, the contents of my Moodle folder. That is, that Moodle directory is what I got after extracting the zip file I downloaded, and it's placed in public. This public directory is the directory with which I would access uh, uh, all my web applications on XAMPP. So now I could rename Moodle into any other name. And I wish, I wish my uh, learning management, my LMS, my learning management system, I wish, I don't want to call it Moodle, but I want to call it self-learner. So what I do, I just rename that directory to self-learner. And that would look like this. So, and then the, ne the, the final step before starting with the installation, what I need to do is also create a directory where Moodle saves its data and that's gonna be outside of public. So and that's what I did. So this is the self-learner data and you can see that's 
completely somewhere else. I mean, this is the public directory. That's where the application is running. And my data is in, uh, you know, E and completely somewhere else. Main thing is that well, I advise you that even uh, also on, on live systems that you place your data folder outside of the public uh, uh, directory or folder. Right, so now we've done all the prep work. Now we can start installing. And because we're local host, I can go local host. And now I'm accessing basically the index file of that self learner folder I placed in public. And local host, now I access the public directory. And now I just call self learner. And now I am accessing then the Moodle installer. And now we can, you know, take it. Let me just close that. So now we can take it here step for step. First of all, language is English. Next. Then now we can fix here certain things. Well, that is fixed. That is fixed. And here the directory. Well, I have to go back to the directory where I placed my data. And that would be this directory here. So just let me copy the path. Go in here and paste it. And remember to double escape those backslashes. Right, and right. So now we can, and we go to next. So now you can pick the database that you wish. Like I said, you can use MariaDB, you can use Postgres or MySQL, it doesn't matter. Uh, I use Postgres, I, I had an installation with Postgres. Now, but this in this case, we're gonna be using MariaDB, which is basically the one, the database that we created previously under phpMyAdmin in Xamarin. So take that and next, and now it needs the um, the, uh, the the database uh, data. Database is localhost. Database name we set it as uh, self learner, and now it demands a user and a password for that user. So we're just gonna have a create and go to user accounts and create a new user. Uh, add a new user and use text field. Well, let's call the username selfie and uh, localhost and we'll give him password ABC and ABC and that's it. And uh, yeah, and then we grant the guy uh, access to all of these things and uh, database for user account. Okay, that's it. And do we need anything else? Uh, so I got it and go. Right, so I've not got a new user and now I can place that user, which is basically selfie and ABC. I can place them here, so selfie and ABC. And all tables created in that database uh, could have the SL prefix for self learner and the database ports. I can leave that empty. Let me see. Is there a port? You can mainly see here if there's a port. There isn't in um, with um, with Postgres. You'd need to in place a port. I think it's thirty three forty one if I'm not mistaken. So and then on next. Let's see. So now I'm on the next page and I just confirm, basically continue. And exactly now we see th this is the final page before the installation starts. And I've got certain things that I've got to check. And as long as they're not read means that your installation is a go. And I'm going to keep them like this. And these changes, you get an explanation here where you can change that. You can change it in a PHP any of ZAMP if you wish, but they, they will not hinder us with the installation. So I just, um, this one here, I can't change that because I'm local host and my PHP is not 64 bits. So the only thing that I could change is this one, but that doesn't bother me right now and then continue. And now the installation starts taking place and that's gonna take a while. And you can see the system is, uh, it, it'll take a while. And then it'll, uh, you know, you, you, you get, uh, it fills up this window here with, with, um,
So now, as you see, the installation is totally done. It's built up this whole page. And it took around a couple of minutes. And now I go to continue. So now the installation is basically done. Now I just got to, uh, you know, uh, put on the, the, the admin of Moodle. And uh, let's put as a password ABC. And my name is Eddie. And, uh, and email is EB at SolarFlearn. Example and put an example. Example.com, for instance. And yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. And let's update the profile. I've got ABC is my password and I'm admin. Right, great. So update profile. And password must be eight characters long. One digit, one uppercase. Oh, okay. Um, okay, and let's go for A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, F, G, H. That should fill and just copy that in case I forgot it. And update. Oh, non numeric as well. Okay. Then let's put a uh, hashtag and exclamation mark somewhere. Right. And let's copy that now again. Right. Now it should work. Update. And now we should now access then uh, the start page of Moodle. We're logged in as an admin. Right. So now I am now in the front page settings and I can now put the name of the site and we call it self learner. Short name as well, self learner. Uh, just a demo installation, and uh, the rest doesn't don't care. And save. Uh, oh yeah, I should put here dot com and save or example dot com. Put it this way. Example dot com. Right and save. So, and now our installation is complete. I don't need the tour. The installation is now complete and I can basically now, obviously I've got to do a lot of configuration and, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff. And all of that stuff takes place inside the administration. And in here you can set your courses, users, grades, etc. You got a lot of work to do for it to be, uh, you know, uh, good looking and full of decent content. So. So now we installed that software. Our job is now, and that's, that's, that's the job of the playlist, the, the, the subsequent videos will all show how to do certain things like, you know, how do, I, uh, how do I upload users? How do I put new users? How do I do courses and so on? So, but basically we've now installed a current version of Moodle on our local server. Installing it on a live server is no different. And, um, yeah, that's about it to installing Moodle on your local server.